It's been a while since I've done a Minecraft map review. And yes, I know I've did Snowfort Assault vs Snowfort Defense, but that was comparing two maps. That wasn't really a traditional Minecraft map review on my channel. And I know I've been doing lots of Bed Wars and other fun things, but I thought today we'll do a traditional Minecraft map review. And this Minecraft map review should be really, really fun, because I have I have some pretty cool maps planned. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Catwalk. My name's Tech the Cat, and today we're gonna be doing a pretty awesome Minecraft map review. Some of these maps are a little bit newer, but there is one map that is extremely, extremely old, which I found was pretty cool. I mean, after all, this is a old Minecraft map review. You really won't believe how long it took me to put Mr. Gerald here. It <laughs> It took me so long. <laughs> Our first map is Flatland Survival, and before I go into what this map is about, oh god, get away from me. Before I get into what this map is about, you may notice that my textures look a little bit different, and that that is because I'm using the Bare Bones Texture Pack, and you may ask, well, why am I using this? Well, I spend most of my time in older versions, and those versions look really ugly, like 1.8 textures are horrible. So I'm going to be using this texture pack whenever I'm in these older versions. The main premise of this map is that you get items in these chests and you basically have to beat the game. And, um, well, they're very OP items, so that shouldn't be too hard, right? Little backstory here. Back in old versions, like, uh, betas and I think, like, 1.0 or something, uh, there was no way to craft mossy stone bricks or, like, mossy stone. The only way you could find them is in monster spawners and strongholds. So they were really rare. So I guess uh, I guess this map is older than I thought because, I mean, that's that's probably why they put it in the chest. At that time, it was probably like, I can build out of mossy stone bricks. It's a miracle! Oh my gosh! I'm I'm not gonna beat the game. Okay, that that's a whole video in itself. So I'm just gonna get started. Wait, I just realized. Oh, you have to be kidding me. If there's no stone, that means that means that we can't make an iron pickaxe. That means that we can't That means that we can't use like the diamonds cuz we can't get iron with the wooden pickaxe. No. No. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. That's a church. That's a village church. That's made out of st- <laughs> Okay, so you're not so smart, map creator, eh? You're not so smart anymore. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh You're not so smart. Mm -mm -mm. I can just get stone from there, uh-huh. Uh, haha, -huh. uh, I cheated the system. It's so interesting to see pre-1.14 villages. It just looks so weird to me now. <laughs> Wait, did I just see a villager run at like top speed into the house? Are you okay, my good sir? Oh my goodness, a stone pick, finally. Oh, actually, there's a blacksmith. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh! Wait. Wait, bro! How lucky is that? Someone tell me the odds of that. Please, someone, tell me the odds of that. I swear, I did not put that in the chest. Someone, please tell me the odds of having full iron armor in a village chest. So someone, please tell what the heck. Please tell me there's Please tell me there's coal. Please, please, please just tell me there's coal. So I get why. I get why. <laughs> they gave us so much stuff. They gave us all these things, but we literally can't use it. 
Oh, what the heck? Oh, actually, I, I'm dumb. I'm actually dumb. I actually just could have used lava to make cobble, though. Um, don't, don't, don't look at that fail right there, because I, I totally didn't do that. I, I totally know how to make a cobble generator. Yeah, t totally. I am coming inside with you, villager. I am sorry that I may have, um, destroyed your village. But that's okay, right? Because... Because when I'm done with this world, I'm just going to close it. Yeah, you, you, you agree, right? That you're all going to disappear into existence once I close this world and delete it forever, right? See, he agrees with me. He agrees with me. Very, very good villager. You're a good villager. I give you potato. Oh, and I also give you the blessing of lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's also good blessing. Very good blessing. I, I think, I think he's dead. Oops, I, I'm sorry your husband died. I'm sorry, I did not mean to kill your husband. Here, 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 I'm gonna make it up to you. You, you can, you can go, you can go to the afterlife with... You can join him in the afterlife! Okay, I... I'm sorry, I... This is what happens when you record videos late at night. Dude, what, what? Oh, he's scared. Oh my god. Why, why do you run? Why do you run so fast? Oh, oh, it's maybe because that guy's out there. Um, good, good. Oh my god, this is. Yeah, I can understand. We're in the house. We are safe. We are very safe from all scary mobs. Okay, shut your eyes, villager man. Shut your eyes. Oh, they're all, they all turned into zombie villagers. No! The guy's holding a door. No! No, I don't like this! I really don't like this! No! Oh, no! Get out! Get out, boy! Get out! Get... Oh, my God. He's... Okay, that's actually kind of funny. That's actually kind of funny. You, you are... You guys stay quite a distance from each other, okay? You stay quite far from each other. Just, just stay there. Last one, please, 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 please. Yeah, oh. Oh, that was the most perfect timing. Oh, that was close. That actually was close. Since this segment's getting kind of long, let me explain what happened. Basically, I got an iron pickaxe, and I mined the diamonds, and then I got diamond armor, which was awesome. Uh, then I crafted a sword. I told villager Jerry guy that I would kill the zombies, and I did. I killed all of them, um... But then I kind of ran into an issue. One heart. One heart. Oh! Okay. Uh. Well, this was a fun map. I know this keeps happening, but, uh. My audio totally blanked out for this. Like, my audio did not work at all, and I was really upset because this was actually kind of a cool map. However, uh. I could not solve it, so it's basically a puzzle map, and, um. Yeah, it, I could not figure out, like, what to do. Uh, and thank you, Philly, I actually have a new mic, so hopefully these problems will not happen in the future. Anyway, I tried to solve things. Like, I, I ended up going into creative to see how you would solve it. Like, it's literally impossible. This will take you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of your life. I mean, yeah. It, it is a cool concept, though, and I do like it, so maybe someday when I'm super bored, I'll play it. The last map for today is called Hunt for the Diamond Minecart, and uh, I think this is supposed to be like a find the button map, so this looks really cool. I didn't explain this part, but basically the main point of this map is to create a diamond minecart. Uh, and you have to go through five sets of challenges, and then in each challenge you get a diamond, so... That's basically how it works. I didn't even know that you could do this in the older versions. This is crazy. Challenge one. Welcome to your first challenge. Get to the other side of the labyrinth and find the diamond. Is there something chasing us or something? No? Okay.
Like north, south, east, west now. Oh, wait. I did it. Yay, I did it. Awesome. Let's go. Hey. Level two. Okay, that was not too bad. That was pretty easy, actually. Challenge two. You won't believe what happened this time. Guess what? I did not explain a thing. Apparently, I thought that you were all psychic or something. Basically, the point of this challenge is you have to fight zombies, and there's like five waves or something, you get different swords, different items. That's basically how it works. Alright, we got this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So this is pretty easy. Like, I just killed the zombies, and each round it got a little bit harder, and I just got different armor. And overall, it was pretty easy. And the last round was kind of hard, though, because one do- I just called it a dombi. One zombie was holding a diamond, and I had to kill that one zombie, but apparently you can infinitely respawn, so that worked great in my favor. Yes, I got the diamond. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes, let's go. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who's the best PvP or uh huh uh huh? Yeah, so I checked through all the recordings and um I didn't explain a thing, so I'm gonna explain it right now. This was a room where basically you had to uh, guess the code and it was pretty cool. So I guess I just tried random codes, okay. Uh da, da, da. Wait. D bro. Bro, first try. First try freaking try what the heck okay i guess i just guess the combination i'm done i'm actually done no way i am actually you can't be telling me that i literally got the code two times correctly two times what the heck if i actually get it correct the third time if i actually get it correct the third time i swear this caught the corner of my eye, and look, look at this, the courts, the courts like bricks or pillars, whatever they're called, are on the ceiling, and I'm thinking they were not in these rooms, so they have to be here, probably for a reason, so what I'm thinking now is maybe they're actually the keypad, that's just my idea. That is just a wild idea, but I'm thinking maybe... Okay, so I think it would be... Eight... Three... And then... Six... I'm a genius. I'm an actual genius. I'm actually a genius. I'm actually a genius! What the heck? If only I actually could have been this smart on the puzzle map. Our fourth challenge was to do parkour, and uh, it was actually pretty easy, except for a couple parts. So the first level was pretty easy, and then, then I got to an infinite death loop, like I got all the way here, then I failed, and then I could not make this jump, I swear. There were barriers there, I swear. Th I could not make this jump, like how in the world? Did I not make this jump over 10 times? Like, come on! <laughs> Finally I did it, and uh, then I got to the end, and then there was a little bit more. Of course there's more. Of course there's more. Alright. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. We did it. We did it. Not one fail. Not one fail. We Totally didn't fail like five times. We totally didn't fail like ten times. No, 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 no. We failed about like 30, 40 times. That this challenge was definitely the hardest to all of them. The goal was basically to uh, mine the diamond and I had to break the tree, like smelt the iron. It was so difficult. Uh, and you'll see what I did. Yeah, I failed the first time. <laughs> no surprise. I got so close to the iron smelting, but it, it just took too long. So close again. This time I was a little bit faster though. So 
I finally realized that basically what I could do is they took the items away in my inventory every single time, but the items that were on the floor did not get taken away, so I could leave like an iron pickaxe on the floor, then I could just go straight and find the diamond and axe. And no sweat, we got the diamond. I said five lows, right? Well, guess what? Uh, they wouldn't let us go off that easy, so they gave us an extra level that was supposed to be a boss battle, but I don't think it was actually too hard. You'll see. Oh, well, that's fire. There's wither sounds. Oh my god! What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? That bow! What is that bow? Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, what, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck? Oh, I can just come right back out. Oh. This guy, this guy. This... Oh, let's go, let's go. Okay, that actually was not too hard. I died once. Claim your prize. All right, now I can craft the diamond minecart. Where is it? Oh, hey! Oh, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. Where in our diamond minecart? Oh, this is so cool. So, how are you? Awesome diamond minecart. Yeah, yeah, I, I love this diamond minecart. Let me introduce myself. I am the sole creator of the map you just played. Oh yeah, your map was awesome. Oh, I love this map. Enjoy your diamond minecart, Technocat. Yeah! Yeah, this is awesome! This was an absolutely awesome map. And you know what else would be awesome? If you could subscribe. I want to thank you for 25 subscribers, only 75 more to go to 100. It's, it's really incredible. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. And this is probably a good time to mention that these three maps that I played will be linked in the description below so you can try them out for yourself. Oh, and obviously I'm team team this map. I mean, it wouldn't do much harm if we just did this, right? It wouldn't do much harm. Oh. I mean, it won't do much harm to me but I think it may do a little bit of harm to my computer. <laughs> oh, I forgot how great TNTing is. Oh, this is amazing. Goodbye, Diamond Hunt. Goodbye, and have a great time. Yeah, and now I actually have to record a video with uh, one of my other friends, so... Uh, goodbye, map. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, everything! Oh. Oh, it's done. Well, uh... That, that was effective, right? <laughs>